Hello everyone, this is Arcane here with my first episode of my achievement runs of Tales of Maj Yeehaw. There it is right there. Don't know how to pronounce that. I will very soon, I suspect. So, new game. And loading. As you guys may know, especially if you're watching this, Tales of Much E Hall has some very unfair achievements, and I'm here to take them down a notch. So, probably one of the favorite parts of any roguelike, like for me, for instance, is creating your character all over again. And I think. For the first achievement run, we will be a human archmage. Now, what will the name of this archmage be? Well, I've been thinking about it for a little bit, and I think he should be called Archmage Malik. There we go. And all set. I think we're ready to go. Okay. All I can say is, thank god I played D&D, or else this first green here would just be way beyond me. So, about Archmage, their two important stats are magic and willpower. It's a very simple class that way. You only need two stats you really need to focus on. Other classes like Chronomancers need four stats and that's uh that's an advanced class right there uh, we're not quite at that stage yet now those who know malik will know he's in that he actually specializes in fire magic so we'll bump that up and hit that one as well need more damage and uh, we got a category point so we can upgrade one of these or unlock a new one now I just said he's a fire mage so I'm very tempted to uh, just bump this up like that but um, I also sort of want to live a little while for my uh, first run through here so I think I'll go for this time shield. Basically it's a barrier that absorbs damage and it helps you live longer which is very important when running in nightmare mode. So unlock that class we won't start putting points in it yet and for our generic points which is for this category we'll be hitting phase door that's basically your teleport spell now let me squeeze right over here teleport spell very very important you get this effective talent level above five that way you'll be able to basically target specifically where you want rather than just teleporting in some random direction you don't want that all set we'll talk more about these points at these other skills as we level up but I think we need to get some gameplay started so yes except welcome Malik you are an archmage in a world that still fears magic the people of Angelwyn have been trying to mend the world for over 2,000 years now, but they do so in secret. Angel, and this is the like, haven for mages. You have lived and trained most of your life in Angelwyn, calling many people there your friends. But you've grown restless as of late. You want to see the world, maybe even help in what ways you can. But for now, Angelwyn still needs you. The abashed expanse, a part of Eyal that was torn apart and thrown into the void during the spell blaze, is quickly becoming unstable. You have been tasked to investigate and fix the problem. Wait a minute, Archmage Tarleon? Yes, Mele. I have you plan on going into the wild world looking for some adventures of your own. This is good. More of us should get out of here once in a while and actually help people out there. Say, maybe you want to help want to get an adventure and help Angelwyn. 
perhaps. What do you need? Oh boy. During the spell blaze, the world was torn apart, literally. As part of it, that we know we now call the abashed expanse, was ripped from the world and thrown into the void between the stars. We managed to stabilize it, and it is now orbiting ye all. Uh, recently, we have noticed a disturbance there. If we do nothing, it will crash onto ye all, bringing much destruction in its wake. Because it was once a part of a land we know well, we can teleport you there. You will need to stabilize three wormholes by firing any attack spells at them. So, that's uh, pretty stabilizing, huh? Attack spells, really? Anyways, the instability is also to your advantage there. Your simple phase door spell will be fully controllable, so it'll be like it's level 5 already. So, you think you can help us? Two options. Um, so this is an achievement run, so we're at a fork in the road already. We can have him send us there and we can go for the matrix achievement which is basically don't get hit once while in the abashed expanse or we can go kill bill and kill a mo boss of a monster a boss of a dungeon at level one obviously if we go up to the abashed expanse we'll be leveling up above level one so um that achievement's called Kill Bill, the boss's bill, and it's very tough, but actually quite fun to do in a normal difficulty. I've already done it twice in normal difficulty. But Nightmare, uh, jeez, is Archmage Malik Kill Bill style or Matrix style. Now, I know Archmage Malik is hardcore, but... I don't think he's Kill Bill Hardcore, so let's go Matrix. <sighs> the star of every dungeon is, oh my god, is the, usually the hardest part because you can get into situations like this where you're completely surrounded. Oh, and thanks Archmage Tear Lion for not letting me um, put on my bus first. Uh, Jeez, I think I think we can we can definitely get one shot off before we risk getting hit by one of their missiles. Uh, so let's hope this guy doesn't decides not to fire his missile. He did not. Okay. These mobs are weird in that their missiles move very slowly. They're called a los Garoff. And uh, yeah, I've never seen missiles go as slowly as theirs. I think that's to help facilitate the achievement. Also, part of the achievement is to not get hit by these guys. They only attack in melee though, so if you get hit by them, something went terribly, terribly wrong. Okay. No one's in a convenient line. This one's a uh, sort of a beam spell. It can fire through people. This is single target. It stops once it hits someone. So, uh, he's dead. See, look. It moved one space between then and now, so. Very slow. Let's move out of the way. Now they're not going to hit me. I'm perfectly safe. Really, I don't think I'm in any danger of getting hit until we reach the third floor of this dungeon where the boss can teleport around it. Oh fuck. How? What? No. No. <laughs> what to do? Magic power? Oh, alright. Oh! Hello everyone, I didn't see you come in. Just putting the uh, points and abilities of my Archmage Malik here. Absolutely nothing weird going on. Definitely not restarting because of that massive fuck up earlier, which didn't happen. Alright, let's get to it. Yes. Yes. Da -de -da -de -da -de -da. Let's go. Hurry up. 
dead and uh, I'm not gonna risk that. Sometimes those things can surprise you how many spaces they move. I don't know what's up with that. Alright, just click myself to Magic power, fire, lightning, temporalness, teleportation. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Yep. Tar lion. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Uh, huh. Fireball. I bet I can kill this. I totally can. You know what's kind of annoying? How you need to reset the difficulty every time you restart a campaign. I know that's sort of a random off-topic complaint, but I don't know, just something I feel like I need to bring up right now for whatever reason. Okay, I need to fix up my hotkeys. Um, there we go. Two, three, four, looks good. Alright. Whammo, get wrecked. Why does that sound like a shotgun? Never heard lightning sound like that. Any games, more like a pssss noise usually. I don't know. Don't mind me, just bitching. Okay. And you're dead. By the way, if you want to um, look somewhere else rather than just be centered on your character, you right click on the map. Something that might not be obvious, just watching. Here we go, out of yeah, but that's fine. There we go, there we go, let's get through this. Oh, I teleported. Oh, but I leveled. More magic. Faster you can kill them, the less you have to work. Alright, and to get out of these menus, you just click out of the window. Is that accept? What was that sound? Whatever, okay. Oops, click the wrong hotkey there. Move that right there, in case that happens again. I need to adjust the hotbar thing here later. Okay, cooldowns. I tell you what, playing an Archmage reminds me an awful lot of Worlds of Warcraft, aka your hotbar just gets filled with a million little tiddly things and it's a task all by itself finding a way to fit all your important relevant skills onto your hotbar. I remember having to didn't even notice that. We're having to build macros to help me out with that. There we go. Ah, here we go. That's the hotkey for that. Uh, oh, one shot. Lucky one shot. Don't get wrecked. Okay, let the matrix style begin then. Alright. Why'd I walk forward? Whatever. You're dead. Huh, these things surprise you, really. Um, what was I talking about before? Uh, yeah, uh, March 8 Mage, that looks pretty cool guy. He's probably actually my favorite. Minecraft guy to watch and you know there's an awful lot of choices 
when it comes to Minecraft people, so that's actually saying something. I don't know, I'm just more interested in the survival aspect of, um, survival aspect of Minecraft, maybe a little bit of, you know, creative stuff, not too interested in the multiplayer or, you know, the creative mode, build whatever you want, unless you're building your own working calculator, that's pretty awesome. And uh, Malik does that really well. Mi a little mix of story, a little mix of, you know, cool little custom things that people put into the game. But mostly just survival aspects. Malik does that really well. Doesn't really play Minecraft anymore, but you know. It's all good. It's all good. You know what Ma Malik did play is this game. He actually recently played this updated version of it. Chaos, Battle of Wizards, Duel of Wizards, something like that. Really fun. I say updated because uh, he actually played the archaic version of it. Super old, I think it came out in 1980s or early 90s. Everything you expect from that, very limited color palette, very archaic menus, all that stuff. And um, Malik's one of those few people I can actually watch play those kind of old school games. He does it really well. Like, uh, you know, um, Dungeons of Dreadmore? If you're watching this, I, I can't imagine how you don't know about Dungeons of Dreadmore. Well, Dungeons of Dreadmore takes its inspiration from much older games. And, uh, those games just, I'm afraid to say, they just look really, really bad. Their menu system's super clunky. And uh, it takes a very special person to really, you know, make those games come alive if you haven't grown up in them. I know Tornus, he's a streamer, he plays a lot of those games. He doesn't really do it for me, but Malik, you know, I was able to actually watch Malik play those games. It was pretty, it's quite something. Oh, Malik. Malik goes to Recluse Hermit mode every so often. He's back now doing Lichdom something or another. I don't... I don't expect him to be playing that game too long. It'll be sort of like Bioshock Infinite, which he never completed, but you know. Nice that he's back at all. Can't can't complain. Oh fuck it. Uh, he's dead? See, I need to find a way to make these stay on screen longer. Ah, uh, you think you can get me, huh? I don't think so. I don't think so. Not today. Not today. Oh boy, uh, yeah. Anyways, dangers don't really start, I mean, for real, until you hit the third level, as I've said quite a bit. Certainly have said that quite a bit. No danger. Oh, it's unstable. Let me just fix that right up. Nothing a lightning bolt straight in the head can't fix, or wormhole, whatever. And uh, next level, did I forget anything? Nope, let's go. You know, when you play the dwarf campaign, every time you go down level, you level up automatically. Uh, not so for this one. Okay. Kill you. Probably should have killed you first, actually. What are we gonna do? Let's see if I can sneak my cr ah. Let's see if I can sneak my cursor around here. There we go. When this becomes effective talent level five, which it will be once I put one more click in it, 
it becomes a beam, which means no longer a single target spell. Very powerful. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's put more magic power right now. Uh, if you want to be more balanced, willpower, but we're trying to do matrix style here. And the faster you kill things, the less you have to worry about them sneaking a projectile to you. And normally, heal would be mucho benefito, but um, again, don't need healing if you don't get hit, and um, actually, you can get hit by the boss here, and it will be okay, in that case I really should be able to have a way to heal myself, okay. kill you. And let's get out of here. Let us absolutely play it safe. Unstable wormhole. I know just the thing. Bam! Fixed up. All your temporal anomalies or whatever. Just fireball to straight in the face. Problem solved. You may laugh, but uh, that's how you fix a lot of things in this game. So, you know. Don't judge. Haha. <laughs> Archmage Malik bringing his fire magic to play. Archmage Malik also wields a sword, so not sure how I'm gonna make that work, but you know, that's sort of his thing, and we're only playing nightmare mode. I don't need to be super efficient, right? Right, guys? Sure. Dumb XP fodder you are. And uh, get dunked. I should probably heal up. Mana surge. That's your recovering mana thing. You can recover it naturally, but this boosts it up dramatically. And as you expect, it has a very long cooldown for that reason. So far, I haven't gotten s stupidly unlucky with my teleports. Let's hope that keeps up. Let's see if there's anything hiding here. There is. Get dunked. Uh, you're not dunked yet, but you are. You will be. There you go. See? Died. Alright. We're almost done with this place. Just cleaning up to do. Let's try to make this expedient. Malik ain't here to waste no time. Oh, I could probably hit him before that hits me. Right, right. There you go. No danger whatsoever. Okay. Let's kill you. And let's get the fudge out of here. What costs more mana, the lightning or the the lightning. Alright. Can respect that, I suppose. What level are you guys now? Level 5. 100% arcane resistance. Interesting. Alright. Let's take you down. And, uh, yeah. Archmage Malik putting in work. Darn it. Well. Oh. Looks like one guy teleported down here, so not a complete waste of my time. You get all that XP, you know. We're gonna be inefficient in some areas, might as well try to optimize others. Okay. Let's talk about the achievements of Tome right now. Uh, Actually, as you know, especially for the madness difficulties and insane difficulties, I mean, nightmare is already pretty challenging, but those ones were outright just not fair. I'm out of mana, that's really dangerous. Oh, he died. I forgot about that for a second. Just as planned, I mean. What are you talking about? I totally planned it. Anyways, 
super unfair, and uh, I like to refer to this other hardcore game right now, uh, DDRJ. He plays Europa Universalis 3, and that game has a super unfair achievement called The Three Mountains, where basically you conquer the world as one of the worst possible nations to pick to conquer the world, basically. You're a one province miner with terrible technology and uh, terrible options as it, as it comes to for targets for world conquest and uh, we're going to the boss level now. I need to probably try to concentrate here. Um, let's wait for our cooldowns. Oh, but I, pre I pressed the rest so it went ahead and healed me instead of... Okay. Okay, oh my god, how long has that been off? On that's six extra spell power. That's like two levels worth of magic right there. What am I doing? How much more damage is this doing now? About 20. Okay, please do not have a BS spawn, please. Okay, quick look around. Oh, fuck me. The boss. Um, strats, strats, strats. Firebolt boss. No. Actually, chose to mana, no, void blast me instead of mana thrust. So that gives me a bit of time. I can hit him one more time. I'm really nervous here. Oh, yep, see? See, they're right there. Oh, Teleport right next to me. Okay. Where's my best option? Ha! See, total strats leveled up flame all the way just for this. Strats, I tell you. Strats. Goodbye, void bo boss. Stabilize the abashed expanse. Achievement get toe. I believe I already got that achievement. But we're not out of the woods yet. We still do not have um, matrix. Not until we get out of here. Now, if I was smart, if I was just gunning for that achievement, I just grab that Rana. Rod of Recall right now and just get the fudge out of here. But we're playing Nightmare Mode and this is an achievement run, meaning I'm trying to get as many achievements as possible. So I really, really should level up. So I need to be careful. I really cannot afford to say no to XP. I don't know which direction that's going. Does it tell me? Origin. I need to get out of here. Kill you. You're not dead yet. You will next turn. There you go. Now you guys are doomed. More doomed than if the doom spell hits you. Should probably get that stack of loot right there. You know, this, this place reminds me of that uh, Temporal Anomaly quest. Same thing. Big expanse here, no loot whatsoever. Except for the boss. There's actually achievement. Rod of Recall drops. Right here, Rod of Recall drops for the first boss you kill. And there's achievement. Basically, you don't kill a boss until much later in the game, causing them to drop the rod of recall. We won't be doing that achievement right now, because that's mutually exclusive to the Matrix achievement. So as far as achievement runs go, this one's pretty basic. Oh wow, that this is such a lucky drop. It's going to be so helpful later on. Very good lightning resistance. Wait, oh. Oh. Arcane disrupting. 
Oh, did, sorry, did I say that was lucky? That's actually useless. Never mind, I can't equip that. Void Star, though. Let's see. Changes damage. Uh, worthless. Spell crit chance. It's good. Light radius. That's useful. And it's got a talent. Let's equip it. See, it replaces our lantern because it's like a fancy lantern. And uh, the talent it gives me here basically um, hit a target with a mental attack. If they fail, they save. They take, let's see, 15.9 mind damage for how many turns? Six turns. And also, here is the thing that makes it not completely worthless, it hurts their resources as well, so hit that on a mage like me, he, I'd lose 16 resources per turn if I failed my save. Problem though, the uh, things this will be most effective against are also the things that uh, most like to, to resist it, so still kind of worthless. It just goes on our torch slot, so you know nothing else better to put on it right now. Getting those XP. Was I talking about something earlier? Oh yeah, DDR Jake. And um, three mountains achievement. Basically how you get the, that, when you get super unfair achievements like that, what you need to do is find some really exploitive mechanic or glitch just keep abusing the fuck out of it. Just keep pressing that button. Do not stop. And that will be my strategy when I get to the madness and uh, madness and what's the other one? Insane difficulty. Find something as exploitive, gimmicky, cheaty as possible and just do not relent. Preferably find something so exploitive and cheaty, go get patched out of the game. I know you're probably thinking, well that's not really playing fair, in which I reply, those achievements aren't playing fair, so you know. Excuse me if I'm not feeling sportsmanlike. Will you? Anyways, who knows if something like that's even available in this game, but you'll have plenty of time to discover such a thing if it does exist. See right there, the face door fizzled so it ended up teleporting me randomly. It fizzled because I chose to teleport somewhere I couldn't actually see. So, I, oh, I leveled up a bunch from killing that boss. Let's um, do some stuff. Flame Shock, this is more than just a cone of fire. Um, anybody who gets hit will get Burning Shock, which is basically stunning them. Stunning is a very powerful debuff. Um, I should probably get a level of that. It won't do much damage just on level 1. That's probably okay, and I'm gonna stock up on willpower now because, you know, this is, look, that cost 30 before I've been just doing these that cost 12 and 10. And I need to put stone skin as well. Bonus armor, very important if you want to avoid getting one shot. Um, bonus armor, my last nightmare run ended when I got Basically, there is this special rare mob. He charged at me, and uh, and his charge crit me, which um, took out my shield straight up, straight off, just all gone. And because he charged at me, he also gets a free attack, and he did double strike, and he just barely one-shotted me. There's nothing I could do. If I had a little bit of extra armor, probably wouldn't have happened. Anyways, more of the story is uh, when you see a rare mob, put on your strong buffs right away, please. Please, or better yet, just teleport back, then put them on. Anyways, uh, that'll be useful later on. What am I gonna do? Shielding? Uh, 
not too much use for that yet. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. Time shield. That will be more useful than stone skin at the moment. And this shielding would actually help with that. So we'll put that on. I think that's another sustainability. Yeah. Oh boy. Let's see. Uh, this skill is really important. It keeps your enemies off you. Out of melee range for you, which you know, being a, a mage, that's probably pretty important. So, all right, let's, let's get cracking. I don't even remember which areas I cleared anymore. I probably cleared those areas already. Let's teleport. Hello, lovelies, little purple. Mandrake sprout things. You gone. And, uh. Uh huh. Jesus, what's wrong with me? My chalk key, my pressing. Oh, I know what's doing. Oh, I was thinking I was pressing the wrong button for teleport, but. No, this is what happens when teleport gets above 5 talent level. That. Here, I'll show you when the cooldown is up. This is me doing teleport. Basically, it wants me to select a target if I want to teleport something other than me away. But I don't want to, so I just right-click to make that go away. And now I can teleport me. I thought I was clicking like lightning or something by accident. Anybody behind here? Nope, I think we're about ready to leave then. I, mean, I need to fix my hotkeys. Do that next cast. Disorienting. That's starting to throw me off, but I'll get used to it. Plenty of game time to get used to it after all. I'll just check the top right corner and we'll be on our way. Alright, anybody left to clear? Nope, let's get out of here. Let's use this spell. This is an Archmage only spell. Teleport straight to Angelwyn. Alright, just get rid of these. I'm never using them. Oh, what was that? Oh, achievement Gitto. Finish the whole Abash Expanse zone without getting hit by a single Void Blast or Mana Room. Or dodging is fun. See, Archmage Malik, I knew you had it in you. That's not a hard achievement at all. I bet I could even do it in Madness difficulty without too much trouble. Anyways, I uh, think that's enough casting for now. This is Art Game signing out. Hope to see you guys next episode.